now take two. If you just do that again for us. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. Got Kevin on the mic. What we going to do? Woo, woo. All right, I'll quit playing, guys. I'll quit playing. <laughs> for real? <laughs> if you want. So it seems like you weren't all that, well, that happy with how it went out there tonight. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, like I was saying up there, man, I want to bang. I want to fight, fight. Um, if guys want to do jiu-jitsu, they can go do uh, IBJJF fight to win. They can go do one of those jiu-jitsu tournaments. They can even come to the gym, Travis Luter BJJ, and we can do some jiu-jitsu there. But, I mean, we're here for an MMA fight, and I think the fans want to see some uh, a little bit more banging. You know, I, I don't mind going to the ground, but I liked it when we were going for submissions. But when we were just laying there, it was like, dang, what are we doing here, bro? We're getting a little too intimate. So I, I really wasn't with all that. You know what I mean? I got married not too long ago. If I want to get intimate, I do that with her. I came to Philly to catch a body, not to make love. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. This is the city of brotherly love. Yeah, but there was no love here tonight. You know what I mean? We can do that later on. We can go eat a cheesesteak. You know what I mean? And uh, Max's is my, pre my preference. You know what I mean? And then we can, we can talk about it there. But, you know, in the cage, we should, we should exchange a little bit more leather. I mean, this says the city does hold some sentimental value, though, to you, right? Like, it, you, it, like does. it does. Events, it does. Yeah, um, you know, I, I saw my very first UFC fight here. Uh, but what, what really blew me away was when Anderson Silva was backing up and he knocked out Forrest Griffin. You know, uh, it was a knockout that blew me away. You know, it wasn't hugging and, and grappling on the ground. You know, my family, uh, the last name is Holland. We're known for bodies. I was trying to join the family legacy. I was trying to catch a body in Philly, you know, and I didn't do that tonight. So, therefore, I am not happy. Uh, is there anyone you see in your division that you're like, that guy? Just give me that guy because then I know I can't. Uh, the guy that just fought Phillips. What was his name again? Marshman. Marshman. I'll take Marshman. Marshman. Marshman got away with a lucky win. I kind of feel like I kind of got away with a win here tonight, too. Uh, so, I mean, Marshman, I'd love to knock his head off because I feel like Phillips really did kill the man, and the man got blessed. So, uh, I, I, when he hits the canvas, I will go down there and I will finish him. But when I go to the canvas, I will be pounding his head in. And now that I see that everybody in the division just wants to hump me, I, maybe I should just go out there and hump first and knock their head off on the ground. You know, I mean, uh, it's okay if I'm caressing you and smacking you at the same time. You know, it's dirty sexual love, and I'm down for that. That's real brotherly love right there, right? <laughs> what did you say to the crowd exactly when you put your chin over the top at the end of the third round? Uh, third round? He wants to hump today. Yeah. He wants to hump today. That's what I told the crowd. I, I, you know, I heard them out there booing, and I'm not very big and fond when they're booing. So I had to let them know, this is not me. I'm not shooting for takedowns. Yeah. He's the one that wants to hump me. I got married not too long ago. If I want to do some humping, I stay at home and hump my wife. Yeah. You know, excuse my language, but, I mean, that's just how the way it goes. I think you turned him after that, Daryl. Yeah, yeah, I was hoping I was hoping they would be a little bit more happy. They can watch the fights and have a little bit more fun and understand that it's not always both guys' fault. Did you feel like there was any moment in there that you could have finished it? I know you were Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. There was a there was a moment where I was pushing his head down and I was standing up and I had to hammer fist and it was like I was thinking like uh do I hammer fist them or do I just go down there and hug them one more time because we're just, you know, we're we're really out here holding on to each other. It was really getting intimate. It was really brotherly love out there, you know. It was like big brother, little brother, who's gonna squeeze each other's head off first? And, and maybe it's my fault. When we hit the canvas the first time, I went to squeeze his neck. Uh, I figured, you know, he got submitted his last time. Maybe he'll take uh, getting submitted again. And uh, then I guess it just turned into who can submit who instead of who can knock whose head off. Uh, and uh, I didn't like that. You look at the top of the division, and are those the kind of matchups that you like? You know, you got the Israel Adesanya, the Robert Wickers. I mean, like at, at least Israel likes to stand and bang. Uh, if I was to fight a guy like uh, Derek Brunson, I would know he's shooting in there and like because his life depends on the shot. Um, I don't like when guys who normally strike come in and try and hug me. You know what I mean? I like when they come in and do what you you know do what you normally do. Don't come in here trying to switch the game plan up all of a sudden because I'm long and lanky. You know, if that's what we're gonna do for now on, I guess I'll just stay in the gym, work on takedown defense, and then just let the strikes come when they come. But uh, I, I want to fight. You know, I, I really, really want to fight, fight for the fans and for the people and for all the family out watching it. Uh, I don't, I don't want to lay and hug. I mean, I just. Really not fond of that. <laughs> really, that's, really that's not fond of that. should be a testament that. of your ability, right? Like guys who win yeah. strikers, you turn them into grapplers. That says something about you. Yeah, 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 it does. It does. I mean, look at Thiago. I mean, he's fighting John Jones. Hats off to him. He's been knocking everybody out. He hit me with some massive shots in our fight. Uh, tried to rearrange my face. and only, I think he was mad because I asked him if he was on the, the naughty or the nice list for Santa Claus. And then he just started pounding my freaking head in. But, uh, you know, he's normally a striker. And, and he wanted to grapple me on the ground the whole time. So I guess, you know... Right there, that should tell me at all, right? Only thing these guys want to do is hug. Uh, so I, I think the next striker will want to hug. If I was to fight Israel, you know, hats off to Israel. I think he's a phenomenal striker, but he might want to hug too. So, you know, it's like everybody wants to freaking hug. Give me Silva. Silva won't want to hug. I know Silva won't want to hug. You know, give me somebody like that. Speaking That's who I want. Uh, Tiago, I mean, 
having gone the distance with him and seeing where he is now, is that kind of a feather in your cap, especially given that was uh, short notice? Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, it's, it's kind of a feather. It's a feather in the cap knowing that he came in there and he hugged me. Uh, because I know when he goes against John Jones, he's not going to try any of that hugging, right? Uh, so, you know, a feather in the cap, I guess you could say so, but I still lost to the man. So, no, 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 no true feather. The only feather would be uh, maybe uh, picking up some weight and going up to 205 and smacking his head in the right way, you know? That, that, that'd be nice because he's not escaping me. I'm going to get him one day. UFC posted a video on their Instagram. I couldn't make out what you were saying, but you and DC had an exchange in between uh, rounds. What did you say to DC? I'm uh, going into the third round. I, I mean, I just realized I was like, okay, this is a grappling match. So I looked over at DC. I mean, I got Travis Luter in my corner, a great grappling coach. But uh, you know, DC, two-time, uh, two-time champ, known for his grappling. I was like, come on, give me some wrestling advice. And he just, you know. And so I was thinking the same thing that Travis would tell me: if you don't, you don't, if you want some wrestling advice, don't wrestle. You know what I mean? So I was like, I better try and stand up a little bit more this next round. I went to dancing and moving around a little bit, but. Eventually, I went right back to the mat, and I was like, ah, here we go with this all over again, you know? I'd be freak. Can we stand up a little bit longer? That would have been nice. You want, it to be, you want to be in the EA game? I definitely want to be on the EA game. You know, I'm playing EA Sports, and I'm using Israel's character. It's the closest, blackest thing that they got on there look like me. So, you know, uh, nah, put me in a video game. I know my stats will suck at first, but, uh, I mean, shoot. I mean, I can, I, can, I can figure it out on the game. I'll make it work. You know what I mean? Maybe I get blessed with some more decisions. Do your coaches ever get annoyed? It's not the fights that they care about me talking in. It's at the gym. I never stop. You know what I mean? Uh, I never stop talking, bro. My grandpa used to call me Jabba Jaws. And uh, Travis, when he goes to the fight, he's like, yeah, go ahead and talk. You know, the guys don't like it. I don't have to hear it that much. I'm over here doing something else. And uh, Shug, when we're doing strength and condition, he's like, bro, shut up. <laughs> and with Cowboy, we talk back and forth with each other the whole time. So after the gym, we just call each other and have a whole other conversation. So... Talking doesn't truly bother them in the ring. It's more so at the gym. It's like, come on, get, get some real work in, shut up for a little while. But you see right now, I'm not shutting up. <laughs> That's it. Bada boom, bada bang. Kevin on the mic. Got to go. Woo, woo. <laughs>